Hi kids! Ako nga pala si Kuya Owen and welcome sa Kids Crayons. Tara at invite na natin ang friends, cousins at mga kapatid ninyo para makinig ng bagong story sa Bible and makijoin sa activities kagaya ng memory verse and arts and crafts. Before we start, let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you Lord for this day na we'll learn new things from you, O God. And uh, we want sa pag-praise uh, and worship din namin. We worship you and we honor you for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
strength I found. Oh, you know my name, you know my heart. You've been here from the very start. You got my life, you will never leave. Lord, you are here with me. Oh, my shepherd, I will follow you high and low. You are Hello kids! Happy Sunday! I'm Teacher Stancy and I'm here to share with you the parable of the Ten Virgins. Uh, before we start, we will um, read the passage. Let me show you the story. Okay. Okay, let's read together the passage. It says here in Matthew 25 verses 1 to 13, at that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like the ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish. Say, five of them were foolish and five of them were wise. That's right. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however took joy in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom! Come out to meet him! Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to, the, to buy the oil, they came with him to the wedding banquet and the door was shut. Later, the others also came. Sir, sir, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day nor the hour. Okay. So today we would like to learn from this uh, passage um, that uh, the parable that Jesus told us about is the parable of the ten virgins. We will ask the following questions. What did the five girls do that was foolish? What did the wise girls do to prepare to meet the bridegroom? What happened when the bridegroom arrived? Why do you think it is important to be ready at all times? Okay, so think about these questions as I share you the story with the pictures. Before that, I would like to also read to you the verse that we would like to remember from this story. It says in Matthew 25.13, Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. So in the story that Jesus shared with his disciples, there were 10 virgins who were getting ready for the wedding bank. Jesus was telling us about this 10 virgin is like the kingdom of heaven. Do you know that the kingdom of heaven is where uh, the believers and followers of Christ belong? 
But before we can come to the kingdom of heaven, there is great preparation. Uh, according to this story that Jesus shared, it is very important that we must watch out for his coming. So when we talk about the bridegroom, we are referring to the groom that is Jesus Christ and the bride is the church. We, as a church, uh, is known to be the bride of Christ. It means that we as a church are waiting to meet with Jesus someday when the time has come for him to arrive and be with us. So in this parable, we have how many? Ten virgins. And five of them are wise and five of them are foolish. That's correct. So these uh, ten virgins have prepared lamps in order to get ready to meet the bridegroom. And in the parable, we see that not only did the five wise uh, virgins prepared lamps <coughs> for themselves, but they also prepared a jar with extra oil. So kasi di ba, pag naubos na yung oil in the lamp, mamamatay na yung fire. But you know what? This um bride uh the bridesmaids or the five wise vir virgins they prepared extra oil in case their oil runs out because they are wise they know what to do but um there were the foolish ones who did not prepare any extra oil these were five foolish ones and what they did was uh while they were waiting for the bridegroom and the bridegroom took a while before he came, they all fell asleep and got drowsy. And then one time at midnight, what happened was that there were people calling. He said, the bridegroom has arrived. Come and meet with him. So it means that it's already time to meet with the groom. So they all woke up. But then... The foolish uh, women, the five foolish uh, virgins, realized they do not have enough oil for their lamp. So what they said to the wise virgins, they said, Can we have some of your oil? Because um, our oil is not enough. But the problem is, you know that the ten virgins actually... Uh, the five wise virgins, they prepared so that they will be ready when the groom arrives. So they said, no, it will not be enough if we give also to you because we have prepared this in order to be ready because they are wise. So the foolish uh, girls or virgins had to uh, get out and look for oil in order to light their lamp. But then, because they were uh, taking a while, it uh, it was time for the groom to close the doors. So the wise virgins were able to meet with the groom. But the foolish ones were trying to knock on the door and said, Can you let us come in? Diba? Kasi nawalan nga daw sila ng oil, so they had to buy. But then, the bridegroom said, I do not know you. He said that, um, he said in the verse that, uh, let's read that again. Let me see. He said that, I do not know you. So he does not want to open the door because they were already late for the time that he arrived. So why do you think Jesus said that the parable is like the kingdom of God? Okay, let's look at it. Diba? What did the five girls do that was foolish? That's correct. They did not bring extra oil. So because of that, they had to go out and buy when the bridegroom has already arrived. While the five wise virgins, they prepared their extra oil. Okay? What happened when the bridegroom arrived? So let's read that again. Said this. Um,
Okay. While they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet and the door was shut. While the others were not able to come in because they were late, he said, I tell you the truth, I do not know you. And in verse 13, it says, Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day nor the hour. So actually, Jesus told us this parable because he wants us to be ready when he comes. We are the church. We are the bride of Christ. And our role is to get ready when Jesus comes. The way to get ready is to be alert. So always uh, watch out when Jesus is coming. And the way to watch out is to be active in our church life. To be always praying. To always look out for the people around us to know Jesus. Diba? Until the time comes when Jesus is already here to pick us up. And when Jesus comes, we should be ready to meet with him so that we can join him in the kingdom of God. So you, as a follower of Jesus, who is always active in getting to know him, spending time in prayer, in going to church, and in reading your Bible, you are keeping watch. As our memory verse says, Matthew 25, 13, Therefore keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. We do not know when Jesus will come back to pick us up. But we know that we have to be ready when he arrives. So that when he arrives, we are able to join with him in the kingdom of heaven. So children, my question is for you. What do you want to be? One of the wise virgins or the foolish one? Do you want to be ready when Jesus comes to meet us? Yes. So why don't you pray with your teacher so that you can be ready to meet with the groom, which is Jesus Christ, and we are the church, the bride of Christ. That's it. I hope you understood that we should be like the wise women who is always ready before Jesus comes back again. Bye. Enjoy your memory verse. God bless. On June 17, I will turn 11. On June 25, I will turn 9. On November 5, I'm going to turn 11. I'm the oldest. I'm, I'm the youngest. I'm in the middle. We know the dates of our birthdays and special occasions. But we know there are some days that will surprise us. It says in Matthew verse 13, Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. Matthew 25 verse 13. In this verse, it says that we should keep watch. Let's read the verse again. Matthew 25 verse 13. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. Let's record ourselves and say the memories. Thank you, everybody. Bye! Hi, Crayons. I'm Ate Jem, and today, we are going to color.
take my hand There may be trials all around But strength I've found You know my name, you know my heart You've been here from the very start You guide my life, you will never leave You are here with me You know my name, you know my heart You've been here from the very start You guide my life, you will never leave I don't know you finished product natin don't forget to share yours at the Bug of Kids Church Facebook group. Bye! Ayan! I hope kids that you've learned new things from the Word of God. At kung may natutunan kayo, i-share nyo naman sa comment section. And now, let us close in prayer. Lord, we thank you Lord for this day na may mga bago po kami natutunan. Uh, protect nyo po kami. Uh, Bless them, Father, and my kids na na learn today and that they will apply. Lord, ko ano mang natutunan nila sa inyo. And we'll remember it, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. See you, kids, next week. Bye-bye! Oh, Lord, you take my hand.